Okay, here we are in Pixlr, and I'm going to go through the uh, toolbar just to give you an idea of what you can do here. So we'll go through the menu across first. File. Okay, if you want to open images, look for images, export, that lets you save it as a, as a ping, so as like a one layer document at the end. And your save in here is actually a download. Um, everything automatically saves. When you're just working in here, it's just like the cloud. It saves automatically. Edit. You've got your copy, paste, free transform. So if you click that, that lets you change the size of your images. Um, free transform. No. Let's get rid of this. Okay, so that lets you change your size. Um, transform. Whoops. Okay, pretty self-explanatory. You can flip things, rotate things. Stroke, uh, that makes a line around the outside. Okay, so I feel like this. Outline only. Oops, no. And... Uh, Hmm, I'm not seeing it here, but I'm sure if I shrunk this down, whoops, damn it. I'm sure if I shrunk this down, I would see it. Okay. Um, and, okay. Fill, that fills everything in. Okay. Layer, or sorry, image. Canvas size image rotation. To, okay, so this one here, this is the size of your actual image. So let's say you wanted to resize something to fit on a web page. You knew you needed it to be 800 pixels. Well, you would just click there and change it. Constrain proportion, that means that it's going to shrink it down, but still keep it proportional. So it's not going to stretch anybody's heads or anything. Um, canvas size. That just changes, let's say, watch, if I come here and I put this to uh, 2000, okay, now my canvas is, you see it's bigger, oh now I can see the stroke, that blue stroke that I made, um, my canvas is bigger, oops, where's my zoom out, minus, there we go, okay, and uh, Bring it back to what it was. So canvas is the size of it. Trim that just shut, ter, like crops it. Like say you only wanted. Every once in a while these ads pop up here. Let's say I only wanted part of this photo. I would just go trim. Or crop. There we go. Okay. Um, layer, okay, so new layer, that's going to put, gonna put like an empty layer on top. So let's say I go new layer, look, if you see over here, I've got an extra new layer. And uh, now I could scribble something blue on top of it. And if I didn't want this layer anymore, I could click layer two, and I just hit delete, and it's gone. Okay, so... If you see if I just draw it on like this, look, it's right on the image, so I can't just throw the layer out. So that's what you use layers for. Uh, duplicate, that's just going to copy it. Image as layer. So do you see right here? It's um, um, it's a background image. Image as layer just saves it as another image. Whoops. So merging, that's where, say if you have a whole bunch of layers, you can, you can um, uh, bring them all down into one. Okay, this here, auto mask. This is actually pretty cool. Um, watch. If I, let's go uh, open an image. And uh, let's see, do I have another picture in here somewhere? Okay, here we go. Um, I'm just going to keep it small. 
Okay. So if I come here, do you see you've got these uh, three trees? If I come layer, AI auto mask, AI is for auto intelligence. And uh, this robot here, look at this, what it did. It automatically took all the background off for me. If I click over here on my move tool, look at this, I can, oh, I can bring it over. Can I just copy my layer? Hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to put it in the other. Yeah, it was working yesterday. I could just bring it to there. Does it work? No. Shoot, sorry. So, I could come here, grab all this. Ah. Okay, edit, copy, edit, and last, boom. So we can just copy and paste it in, okay? Now I can move it all around. If I want it to be a little bit smaller, go back to my free transform, control R, and you see, I can bring it and make it smaller. Okay, um, now, so that's all your layer stuff. Oh, this is also important too. You can bring forwards and backwards. That would be um, there. Okay, I could do this. I could take this guy and drag him. Uh, we're going to go unlocked here. So you see how I can drag these two around? You can do it that way, or you can also go layer, uh, send backwards. It does the same thing. Okay? I'm going to put this back up. Um, <clears throat> select, that just lets me save my selection. Adjustments. This is all like if you want to do your exposure, brightness, contrast, if you want to change like the colors of things. Okay, if you don't like your exposure, like uh, here, let me get rid of this. Whoops. Okay, and uh, let's say I go um, curves. Double click to add or remove control point. There. See what that did? It just made it all brighter. Or I can make it all darker. Okay, so that's what curves. That's my white. I could turn up the reds if I wanted. Ooh. Now it looks like we're all going to die because the sky is red. All right, so this is all under adjustment. Uh, desaturate, that's if you want to bring something black and white. Filter, vignette, that's like a... Um, uh, see how it gives like the... The edges it makes them like a darker circle kind of deal. Okay, that's what a vignette is. I'm not sure what. I don't know what a bloom is. Oh, I see. Okay, it's just going to make things lighter. So anyway, same deal. These filters are kind of like the same things you find um, on your phone, you know. But you've got drop shadows and stuff here if you do text and that. View. There's your zoom and help. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video here because we just did all these uh, things across.